Welcome to this video against Automate. Okay, I only have one game against this guy I played and I lost that. So let's see. Okay, let's play the classical. Trying to stay a bit more solid. Yeah, knight c to e4 is the normal way to play here. Oh, that's uncommon. Normally they take with the knight and then retreat with the bishop. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, very weird way to play that. Yeah, giving up the bishop pair and then opening up the position for no particular benefit. At least that how it looks like. Let's play this. I'm a little bit underdeveloped though. That's the only thing that really can be can be said. Um, okay. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I didn't see that move. I mean, didn't really look <laughs> look for a reply. C4 just looked like the move to, to play. And I did not really um, think about it that much. Let's cover C4. Mm. Yeah, bishop f5. Mm. I possibly have knight d4. Always have to worry about this kind of move. Bishop f5 intending knight g3, things like that. Hmm. Okay, doesn't really care, it seems. Okay, I take d5 now. What is the point? Mm, Cd, queen takes, even rook takes is possible. Or is he playing knight c3? Maybe. But knight c3, just queen b2, right? Uh, I can take it. Nonsense. <laughs> knight c3. I can just take this, of course. Really <laughs> awkward calculation if you can call it a calculation. So just rook takes, right? Why not? Yeah, and now the point or the pro only problem is the possible discoveries here. Is there something or just knight b5 here? Knight c3 is also a move. Maybe just this one here, doubling. I don't, <clears throat> as mentioned, I don't see a really great discovery by the knight. Hmm. Yeah, what what is it? What I what I really want to achieve here? would be great to get an f3 and e4, killing the g6 bishop. It would have been int would have been nice, but not easy to get. It's knight e3 and all kinds of things. Um, okay, there's also knight b5 for knight c7. I think this is something that I definitely want to try to get into. <clears throat> I get in simply for getting rid of the d5 knight and entering on the 7th rank. Yeah, it looks very nice, the bishop pair. 
in this wide open position should really count for quite something. So knight c7 is possible now. But he will enter on d2, which is awkward. Hmm. Yeah, he might have some discoveries. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. takes, takes, and then entering on d2. Hmm. That's not really great. Is there some way to avoid that? Not really. Knight a7, there is... What is there? Not sure what actually, if I take this. Knight c3. I don't see anything great here for him. Actually, after the simple capture, can always retreat to b5. Mm, yeah, maybe this one, rook a5 and rook a8 or something, but ultimately, I don't mind that very much. Or is it that I don't have any square with this bishop? Huh. Yeah, like bishop d6. It's kind of slightly awkward. Okay, I cannot go to b4. Rook b3 looks really strange. Yeah, okay, let's go there. It looks really strange there, but I don't see a tactic. Rook b5, rook b5, knight d6, there's d5 hanging. Yeah, he can do that, certainly. But this shouldn't be a big issue. Where do I go, actually? To c5? Mm, that's not so great. Where do I go with this bishop? This is, this is also hanging here on e2. Mm. Okay, come on. That's not the best variation, but I want a simple, con a simple thing to play. <sighs> Got really into into time pressure again check covering this i can go back to d4 with my knight against that for example uh, it's nothing great i mean but uh, i felt the need to play simple moves with the Time getting low. I'm not even attacking f7. That's not a good idea. I mean, it's nothing. Cannot take there. I mean, on f7, I was thinking I should attack there, but it doesn't really help Check. a lot. Okay, I don't mind a draw here. I have no time. Uh, I could have played, could, could have pinned me. Check. Yeah, that's a draw. Draw 
offered. Draw offered. Game hmm. drawn. Yeah, that was very disappointing. This is um this is of course very nice for white here. Yeah. Around here. Yeah, I should should somehow get to something substantial, but I did not manage. This, this looks okay. And um, yeah, I shouldn't take there probably. But um, it wasn't that easy. It looks like excellent, but this is the first idea that comes to mind. But he all of a sudden gets very serious counterplay. That's not the way to go. The comp wants to play rook b2. Yeah, maybe that's the way to go. Get out of this diagonal once uh, that <laughs> almost <laughs> get out of this diagonal once and for all hmm. yeah that's that's probably probably good right this is the the line that the engine is giving with a pretty big edge yeah it should be it's just the bishop pair for nothing and I have chances to really get get to those pawns I couldn't find a good way here. This is he somehow gets gets play here. Yeah, now I didn't didn't really see a way forward. This is this is very awkward this move. But what should, what is it that I should do? Yeah, okay, the comp points out f3. Okay, yeah, I see see now knight e3 is no option anymore, and it's not clear what he's doing. If he re, if he goes back, then I have a good square here. Yeah, and e4 coming. Yeah, that's very nice, actually. Yeah. This is what I need to do, I guess. But yeah, I kind of got very, got also far too nervous here. Again, Check. I should play e4 at the moment where the knight is not... I mean, he can go here, but I ah, can go there. Hmm. I was thinking that this might be might be okay. But he has counter attacks. Yeah, it's about Check. it's equalish here. Yeah. Okay, now I started to struggle. So I'm being far too nervous here. Yeah. It's not that much going on. Check. But um, yeah, here I'm here I'm in trouble. Of course, rook b2 yeah, was an easy way to play. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimately, we 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 got get to this drawish position. Yeah, didn't use my chances there. Thanks for watching.